Hi. I'm number one. And before we start today, I want to ask you guys a question. Who has a Facebook? Please raise your hand. Who has Facebook? Please raise your hand. Okay, put it down. You can see lots of us have Facebook, right? Okay, and tell me, who uses Facebook almost every day? You don't need to raise your hand this time because I think the, uh, the answer is quite obvious. Like almost everybody has Facebook and almost everybody uses Facebook every day. So I believe my topic of today will definitely match uh, your daily life. My topic of today is the chaos on Facebook. Mm -hmm. The chaos on Facebook. Um, uh, I see lots of face down, down the stage and show a sense of content. You guys might think, Oh, this topic is so cliche and so out of fashion. Oh, she's gonna be judgmental later on. But it's nothing like that. I'm also obsessed with Facebook a lot. And what's even worse is one day when I wake up in the morning and I saw there is a callus on my hand, on the finger of my hand. And to figure out why do I have a callus on my hand, I'm trying to think about something like, probably it is because the way I hold my hand, I hold my pen is wrong. But I don't think that will be the answer because seldom do I go to class, so seldom do I have the chance to write. So it is not possible. And then it started, I started to think maybe it is because I drive too fast, usually. So when you drive too fast, it means that you also have to hit the brake very a, a lot of time. So probably it is because I hit the brake too much time. So that's why I have the callus. And after I figured it out, I want to tell this news to all my friends on Facebook. I have around 1,300 1, friends on Facebook, but I don't think I will even recognize them or, or, or say hi to them when even if they are sitting next to me because I've never met them before. And so I take out my cell phone and put it on my hand. And when I put the cell phone on my hand, something bumped into my head. My callus on my finger perfectly matched my cell phone side my cell phone side. So the real reason why I have a callus on my finger is because I use my cell phone too often. And that's why I have a callus on the side of my finger. And that's how obsessed I was at that time. And um, the, the impact of Facebook is really big. I still remember uh, since my parents, they got divorced and they hate each other. So usually I have to be the representative of my family. So uh, I will be the one who represent my family to go to the ceremony, talk with the teacher, and bribe the principal sometimes. And one day, uh, my sister, she joined, my, my younger sister, she's 10 years old only, and she joined a ballet dancing talent show. So everybody joined that talent show, including me, but not my parents. But other of my uh, sister classmates' parents, they all attend that talent show. So uh, when we are joining that talent show, Every parent is there, and everybody comes with their cell phone on their hand. And the scene at that day is quite interesting, because when the kids, they are dancing on the stage, the parents under the stage, everybody is holding their cell phone like this. They are not even watching their kids dancing on the stage. And to prove it, I even go to the other side of the, day, the stage to see, down, to, to see down below. And when I see down below, the only scene I can see is thousands of parents they are blocking their actual vision with their own cell phones. They are not watching what are their kids doing. They are just keep spending their time focusing on their cell phone. And, and they are not watching their kids dancing, and they are just watching some very lame movie happening on their cell phone. They are not putting their focusing on something actually happened 10 feet ahead. They are just putting all their focusing on how to tape the video perfectly. So it is kind of pathetic for me because just look at your kids. They're dancing on the stage and it is just happily happened right in front of you and you're not doing it. How come? It is something so pathetic happening recently and, and I believe most of the parents who take those videos down, they will not even watch it when they go back home. Because the reason why they want to take all those videos is because they want to upload it on Facebook and let other of their friends to watch it. And believe it or not, your friends on Facebook, they're not going to watch it because they have their own life. They're busy in writing some whining posts on Facebook so they can earn some likes and then build their own confidence. 
And some of them are even trying their best to taking selfie and choosing the right filter to let themselves look like somebody that they will never be able to look like. That is what they're busy for. So, um, but there is something interesting when I when I go back home and I see lots of parents they are uploading the video that they take at that day, at that day on Facebook and I read the comment below. All the comments is like, "Wow, that's adorable! Wow, I can see a superstar! That's O N G something like that." <laughs> but I don't think they ever any spend any time on watching that video because nobody have time for that. And the thing I want to tell you guys today is. It is so important for us to find a balance between virtuality and reality, because the existence of Facebook is not to block our actual vision. The the, the appearance, the, the the existence of Facebook should be let our lives become more convenient and make our life become even better. So if we choose to trust on something that never really happened on Facebook, I think we should trust ourselves and. Find a balance between virtuality and reality, and stop the chaos on Facebook. Thank you, guys.